right, welcome. Mike Simmons here of WPHowTos.com. And on screen, you're looking at the WordPress 2014 theme. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this left sidebar here without using the 14 extended plugin. So we're going to have to use a little code, but it's really super simple. If you don't have a child theme for your WordPress 2014 theme already, then watch the video that I'm going to put an annotation. Click on that right up about now. What I show in the previous video is how to center align the site, which is what it is right now. By default, it's aligned to the left. And we'll also uh, install a, a child theme for our 2014 theme using a one-click plugin. So go and watch that video if you don't already have your child theme. I'm also going to show you how to center align this site with the, the code. So if you already have a child theme but don't have a center line, you can just watch this video instead. So the first thing we need to do is log into our cPanel or your control panel. And once you're logged in, scroll down until you see files, which I believe is the third one down usually. Click on File Manager, and we want to open the web root. Click on Go. And then I have a bunch of subdomains here. You probably don't, so I'm just going to click on that. And you'll want to double click on WP Content, and then double click on Themes. And you notice I have 2014 Child, which is what you'll need. But the first thing we're going to do is actually open up the parent theme, which is the 2014 theme. We'll double click on that. And then we'll scroll down until you see something called functions.php right here. And I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to click on copy. And then we're going to copy it to the child theme, which I named just 2014 dash child so you'll just have to put in whatever you called your child theme it's probably easiest just to do this 2014 dash child click on copy files and then we'll go back and double click on our 2014 child theme now we have a functions.php I'm going to double click no I'm actually not going to double click on it excuse me I'm just going to highlight it and then I'm going to click on code editor to open it up and I'll click on edit and what I am going to do is actually right click and then click select all and then I'm just going to hit backspace to erase all that in there then I'm going to go over to my site now there'll be a link in the video description which will take you to my site wphowtos.com where you'll be taken to this post right here which will have the code that you need first we'll need to copy this right here the code for the functions.php file to remove left sidebar so I'm just going to highlight all this and then right click and copy and I'll go back to our functions.php that we already have opened up and I'm just going to control V or paste and I'm going to click save changes okay once you've clicked on save changes all right now we're back on my wphowtos.com site and we need to copy this code down here below the code for our functions.php it says code for the 2014's child.css this is to, also to help remove the left sidebar now you can just click on this right here this little icon right here which says copy and that'll highlight everything and then you can just press control C or right click and copy then we're going to go back to our control panel well, we have our 2014 child theme opened up and I'll highlight the style.css file and I'll click on code editor again and I'll click on edit now I already have this code in here which uh, helps center align the site but I'm just going to highlight this code and I'm going to paste in the other code because the other code already has this uh, code to center align your site also so We'll do that. All this code is in there. And then we'll click on Save Changes. We'll go back to our site and reload the tab. And there we go. The site is center line and the left sidebar is removed. Now, if by chance you don't want to re, uh, uh, center align the site, you want to keep it aligned to the left, then you'll just want to remove this code right here, which is site and then a and the brackets and the margin and then this and this it's also on my site right here right here you'll just want to remove this code right here and then click save changes to your style.css 
and then your site will be aligned to the left. But most people, I'm assuming, probably like the site aligned to the center. So that is all you need to do. Make sure you click on Save Changes, and you're taken care of. And you can have start having fun uh, configuring your site. So hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, have fun, keep smiling, and keep on keeping on.